hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm your tutor mr baraka and today i want us to look at uh, paper 3 biology paper 3 as we prepare for the practical gcc 2022 now from my analysis i've realized that um, there are five main topics that might be tested in uh, paper 3 and I've listed them there. You can see reproduction, cell physiology, classification, growth, and the cell. So we start with the first topic. And uh, this one is on what? Classification. Eh? So uh, let's say that um, you have a question that looks like what you have here. You are provided with a specimen A. Eh? And this one is our specimen A. Eh? You can see the way it is. You are provided with what? A specimen A. Eh? Specimen A eh looks like that. So this one is our specimen A, eh? and then uh, you are told that uh, study it and answer the questions that follow. So from here, uh, you can see how the specimen looks like. And uh, then you are told um, to which kingdom does the specimen belong, and you give a reason for your answer. So you can see uh, this specimen must be the correct answer must be uh, kingdom planty properly like that and P is capital start with a capital letter plan T and then um, reason is because uh, the body of the specimen eh, body is uh, divided or differentiated into roots you can see roots here you can see the stem stem and you can see the le leaves so it is a plantee because the body is differentiated into roots stem and leaves and then you are told the identify the class to which the specimen belong give three reasons for your answer if you look at uh, this specimen you can tell this one must be what class is mono Monocotyledo. Remember, M is capital. And then uh, reasons. You give three reasons. Start with the leaves. You can see the leaves. Leaves. So you have to specify. Eh? Leaves have parallel, parallel veins. Leaves have parallel veins. You can see properly. It has parallel veins. And then uh, the other one is what? Has, you can see the root, the type of root, fibrous root system. You must always say system. Huh? Has fibrous root system, leaves of parallel uh, veins. What else can you see from there? We can see, look at the way the leaves are attached. Eh? Uh, there's a sheath here. Leaves have a sheath. So, leaves. have leaf sheath leaves have a leaf sheath uh, what else look at the lamina the lamina of uh, these leaves you can see is narrow leaves have narrow lamina like that. so you just give in three and you get what your three marks then uh, the other question that you can get from this specimen is uh, say three ways in which specimen A is ecologically significant. How is it important in any given what? Uh, habitat. And this uh, specimen is important because number one, you can see it is uh, green in color so it can carry out fruit synthesis. And therefore, in the process, oxygen is produced, and this oxygen is actually supporting other organisms in, in that ecosystem. So, it increases. Eh? The specimen increases, or you can say, replenishes. Amount of oxygen in atmosphere. So it replenishes the uh, oxygen in the atmosphere. Then number two, 
Mm, it can be used as what? As a ground cover. Uh, uh, it can be used as a ground cover to reduce soil erosion. It can be used as a ground cover to reduce soil erosion. And then the other answer that we can give is that this specimen can be used as what? It can be used as a habitat for small animals like grasshoppers and then uh, it also it can also be used as what well. there are some animals that feed on the specimen so it can be used as food it is food for herbivores it is food for herbivores uh, which is true and the other one that you can give also is what well. it offers offers a camouflage it offers camo camouflage to animals eh? so you realize that some some animals like um, grasshoppers they blend well when they are in in uh, presence of this specimen so that means they can they cannot be easily seen by predators so this specimen can offer camouflage to to animals and then the other question says what how is specimen A adapted to survival in its habitat it has uh, several adaptations and uh, one of them is that um, you can see one of them you can see uh, the fibrous roots are here so you say what as uh, extensive as extensive fibrous roots system for anchorage to anchor the plant family or if you don't say anchorage you say what to exploit exploit what surface water to exploit uh, surface water the other one that you can give is that um, it has numerous nodes eh? you can see uh, the nodes are here this one is a node you have another node a node there so it has several no nodes has numerous nodes numerous nodes to allow for propagation so which is true yeah, the other one is that uh, you can see the stem is thick. It has a thick stem or swollen stem. It has a, a swollen or a thick stem to store more. To store more water and foods. You can see that. Mm -hmm. The other one is that... Um, you can say it has a uh, auxiliary buds or lateral buds for propagation, so which is uh, similar to the other one here that is here, numerous nodes to allow for propagation. And then uh, the other part is what identify the trophic level occupied by the specimen. This one is what is a producer. This specimen is a producer. Why is it a producer? It is because it is green. Green hence can photosynthesize to produce what? Food that supports other organisms in the ecosystem or what you call consu consumer eh? supports the food supports consumers in the ecosystem. And sometimes you can be told to give what? To give uh, the habitat of this specimen. If you are told to give habitat to the specimen, the habitat of this specimen is, uh, is what? Arid. The habitat is always uh, arid or you can say semi-arid. And if you are told to give reason why, you look at the, the specimen the way it is. Eh? 
you can see if you are careful you will be able to see that it has some hairs eh, on the leaves there are some hairs on the leaves yeah. so leaves have hairs that trap trap what moist air moist air to reduce trans Aeration. That is why the habitat is always what? The habitat is always arid, or you can say semi arid. Reason is because leaves have wires uh, that trap moist air to reduce transpiration. And then the last part is uh, the cell. Now, under the cell, it is basically what? The light microscope, parts of the light microscope, and their functions. And then the other part is what the functions, the two functions of uh, of uh, the light microscope, which we said is the magnification and resolution, and then uh, maybe differences between what light microscope and electron microscope, and then the last part is how you calculate the average size of a cell in micrometers, and we said the formula is given like what you have here: size of the cell equals to diameter of field of view in micrometers that means that uh, if you have uh, the field of view and you get the diameter using a ruler then you convert the millimeters into micrometers that is what you put here and then now uh, divided by number of cells it means you have to uh, you have to see through the microscope and then uh, count the number of what cells across the diameter of the field of view when you get the number of cells you have now to take the diameter of field of view in micrometers divided by number of cells then you get what you get the size of the cell in micrometers i believe that uh, this first part of uh, paper three has helped you to remember a few things as you prepare for the practical exam i wish you all the best uh, let's meet in the next uh, video which will be for biology paper three part two Thank you.